Hi everyone, this is Andy with Blungo.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to automatically send text messages from Zoho CRM using SMS magic. We're going to do it in two different ways. We're going to send text messages after the state changes as well as based on a date time field. I have linked in the description a blog post where you can find the written tutorial. All right, let's get started. This video is part of a series of videos about the integration between Zoho CRM and SMS Magic, so make sure to check out the other videos if you haven't already. They cover how to set up the basic integration and how to configure buttons. I will leave links in the description. Okay, before we start setting everything up, let me explain what we're gonna do. First, we're gonna create a webhook that when called, will send all the information to SMS Magic. Then we're gonna use the webhook as an action in our workflows. So when the workflows are triggered, they will invoke the webhook and it will send all the information needed to SMS Magic, which will send the text message. For this example, we're going to use the deals module. And if we open a deal, we can see that we already have a field in there called SMS notification phone. This is the number we're going to send the text messages to. With that in mind, let's create a webhook. Go to the setup, click on actions under automation, go to the webhooks tab, and click on configure webhook. The name of the webhook is gonna be info to SMS magic. For the URL to notify, we're gonna to go to our SMS magic account. This is the get started page. Let's go to automation. And the URL is this one right here. So let's copy it. Back to the CRM and paste it here. The module is gonna be deals. And if we scroll down, we can see the body section. Let's select the type as form data. Under user defined format, click on add parameter. The parameter name is going to be text. And we're going to get the parameter value from SMS magic. We are going to generate it by clicking on generate JSON. The module is going to be deals. Then select the sender ID. The phone field is the one I pointed out before, which is a custom field I added to the deals module. If you added a custom phone field to the CRM and you didn't see it on this list, just log out of SMS magic and log in again so the field to refresh. On message body, we're going to type the message. So let's do, this is a notification for, and we can add merge fields from the CRM. Click here, select the fields, and click on insert. All right, we have all the parameters we need, so let's click on Generate JSON. And now on Copy to Clipboard. We can go back to the CRM and paste the value in the parameter value box. Okay, we can save this webhook. And that's step one. Now we can call this webhook with a workflow. So let's go to Workflow Rules and click on the button Create Rule. The module is going to be Deals. And the name is going to be SMS Notification. Next, the execution is going to be on a record action. When we edit the record, specific field gets modified. The field is stage, modified to the value. And for this example, I'm going to select proposal price quote. Next, here we're going to choose all deals. Next, and on the instant actions, we're going to choose webhook. In this window, you can see the webhook that we created earlier. So let's select it and click on associate. And finally, let's save this workflow. All right, the workflow has been created. So let's test it out. Go back to the deals and open the deal. And we're going to move this deal to the next stage, which will trigger the workflow that will send the message. So click on the next stage. And now if you go to the timeline, we can see that the webhook was invoked when the workflow was triggered. I'm gonna to switch to my Google Voice account. And I see a new message, so let's open it. That's the auto message that contains the test we wrote plus the name of the deal. So everything is working correctly. Okay, let's go back to the CRM so we can set up the workflow that will send the text messages at a specific time. As you can see here, this layout already has a date time field that we will use to trigger the workflow. It is called bit date. The idea is that we're going to send a text message to this phone number 10 minutes before the bid date. So let's open the setup and go to workflow rules, create rules, select deals as the module and add a name. 
next. And here, instead of choosing on a record action, we're going to choose on a date time. The field is going to be bid date. Execution date is going to be on. And execution time is going to be 10 minutes before. Click on next. This is going to apply to all deals. Next. And the instant action is going to be webhook. In this window, we're going to choose the one that we created earlier. If you want to send different text messages, you have to create one webhook per template. There are ways to automate this, but we're not going to cover them in this video. Okay, click on associate. And now we're going to save it. All right, let's go back to the deals module and open our deal. If we go to the timeline, we can see that the webhook will be invoked by the workflow rule we just created. It will be triggered 10 minutes before the bid date. And when that happens, the message is going to be sent. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, please click the like button. If you're a Zoho admin and would like to learn more about how to integrate the different Zoho apps, we made a Zoho One class where we cover how to configure and integrate the top 10 most useful apps. Check out the links in the description for more information. Thanks for watching.